Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Join here with our senior draft analyst, Chris James, and we're outside the NFL draft, the 2014 NFL draft. And now that this draft is complete, Chris, we're going to take a look at the New York Jets draft grades to see how well they did this past weekend. The New York Jets had a bevy of selections in the 2014 NFL Draft and definitely made the most of them. Of the 12 picks, 10 were ranked in my top 335 and they also kept it equal with 6 guys on offense and 6 guys on defense. Now what I liked most about the Jets draft was the infusion of talent at positions of need on both sides of the ball. Jason Morrow is an excellent receiving option. Dakota Dozier out of Furman, a very athletic offensive lineman with the skill to excel at guard or tackle. Three very good wide receivers in Jalen Saunders, Shaq Evans, and Quincy Inua. All guys are dependable with each bringing something different to the table athletically. Now on the defensive side, grabbing Calvin Pryor was a huge plus. He's a perfect fit for what Rex Ryan looks for on the back end. And I'm a big fan of two underrated players in IK and Nim Kampali out of Louisiana Tech who reminds me a lot of James Harrison and Brandon Dixon an instinctive corner with ball skills out of Northwest Missouri State the Jets definitely got better on both sides of the ball in this year's draft What I questioned was not taking a wide receiver until round four. The Jets passed on elite talent like Marquise Lee in round one, Devontae Adams, Allen Robinson, and Jarvis Landry in round two. Yes, Jason Morrow is an extremely talented tight end, but I'd rather have a bona fide number one or number two target as opposed to solid number threes in Saunders and Evans. Keep an eye on defensive tackle Kerry Hyder out of Texas Tech. He's a disruptive force that has a three-tech shine for the Red Raiders, but when they moved to a 3-4 defense and he moved to the five-technique position, his role changed, and that's why the numbers went down. Rex Ryan will definitely find a way to put him in position to stay both productive and effective. I gave the Jets an A-plus for their draft. They are definitely setting themselves up for future success. They surrounded Geno Smith with viable options at tight end and receiver, added a versatile talent along the offensive line, and got better at every level of their defense with free safety Calvin Pryor being the blue chipper. Also, two guys in particular, Dexter McDougal out of Maryland, a cornerback, and quarterback Taj Boyd out of Clemson were very good and underrated selections. If McDougal checks out medically, he's an ideal Rex Ryan corner with good leadership skills and instincts, and Boyd would be an excellent number two option when Michael Vick decides to move on. So all in all, the Jets look to take flight in 2014. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Jet Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.